Only, you know, the, the 0.00% of the prediction are right. They're right because by accident. Uh, actually, I'm not interested in uh, Mars. I just came back from there, so. Uh -huh. Just a one step you go to Mars, but you will never be able to come back. Yeah, so that, that's that, my that's view. That's not how it works, though. And uh, <laughs> also. <laughs> Um, actually, I'm told that, does AI mean love? It, like, is that, there's like a name, AI, it sort of sounds a bit like love? Yeah, AI, I, I hate the word AI called artificial intelligence. I call it Alibaba intelligence. Yeah, <laughs> might, might end up being true, you never know. Um, yeah, I'm always amazed by it, uh, what your vision about the technology. I'm not a tech guy. I think more about life. I think AI is going to open a new chapter of the society of the world that people try to understand ourselves better rather than the outside world. And uh, it's so difficult to predict the future. 99.99% .99 of the predictions that human being had in the history about the future, all wrong. Including that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only, you know, the 0.00% the of the prediction are right. They're right because by accident. Yeah, but it's also true that 80% of statistics are false. Yeah. So, my meaning oh, is that... Room. Come on, guys. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy about the artificial intelligence or Alibaba intelligence that's going to understand a human, the inside of the human better. And to me, artificial intelligence is just like, uh, people worry a lot about this today, are those people, I call them called, um, uh, called college smartness. People like us, street smart, we never scared of that. We, we think it's a great fun, and we want to change ourselves to embrace it. I don't know, man, that's like famous last words. The, the rate of change of technology is in, incredibly fast. Um, it is outpacing our ability to understand it. Well, let's talk about something fun. I, I'm at the mind that you want to go on the Mars. Shall we go to the, the Mars? I, actually, I'm not interested in the Mars. I just came back from there, so... Uh -huh. I'm more interested in on the Earth, the things, what's going on happening here. So what, what, why are you so curious about the Mars? So, uh, um, among the set of actions we can take that are likely to increase the scope and scale of consciousness such that we are better able to understand the nature of the universe, uh, one of those actions is to become a multi-planet species or ensure that life is multi-planetary. Not because I think something, but it's, it's not, a, not from, from the standpoint of it just being an escape hatch or because I think that Earth is doomed um, but there's a certain probability that is irreducible uh, that something may happen to Earth. Despite our best intentions, despite everything we try to do, the, the, there's a probability at a certain point that some either external uh, force or some internal unforced error uh, causes civilization to be destroyed. Good. It's so difficult to secure the future of the Earth, but we can secure the future of next 100 years. I'm not the person that I admire your courage for explore the Mars, but I admire a lot of people spend efforts on improving the Earth. It's it's great to send one million people to the Mars, but we have to care about the 7.4 billion people on the Earth. How can we make the world more sustainable? And I'm not that fan of the Mars because I think it's easy to go to the Mars when you go on the top of the hills of, of, the, of, of the building. Just a one step you go to Mars, but you will never be able to come back. Yeah, so that's, that's my that's view. That's not how it works, though. And uh, <laughs> also, also no, don't I, do it. <laughs> I hate to go to Himalayas too. I mean, when you climb on the, I think someday I will go there when the elevator is ready. I will go there have a look. But I, have, I think people spending more time on the earth, think about a how, because no matter how long the civilization of the human beings will be, like one million or two million or half million years, 
that we only have 100 years. Uh -huh. So we cannot solve all the problems for future. Every time when I read the news about you are interested in the outside space, I look at you with great respect. We need a heroes like you, but we need more heroes like us, working hard on the earth, improving things every day. That's what I want. Uh, great, that sounds great. Um, to be clear, I'm very pro Earth. When I say, you know, us becoming a multi-planet species or making life multi, uh, ex extending life beyond Earth, um, ex ex expanding the scope and scale of consciousness. Um, from a resource standpoint, I'm talking about less than one percent of Earth's resources should be dedicated to uh, making life multi-planetary or making consciousness multi-planetary. Um, and obviously, I spend a lot of my time on uh, sustainable energy with Tesla, with uh, you know, electric cars and solar and batteries and that kind of thing. You yeah. Want to pick up another topic. Sure. Yeah. Jobs. Uh, should, am I, am I, should I pick it? Jobs. <laughs> jobs are life. Jobs. With sure. Anything. Sure. Okay. Um, about jobs. Don't worry about it. We you will have jobs. Yeah. Yeah, it is. is uh, yeah, you think of like technology, like technology and technology awareness. There's like, it's like, if there was like a topological map of technology awareness, it's mostly flat, but with a few short buildings and then some very tall spires, very tall spires. And unless you're on that very tall spire, it's not obvious what the topology is. Yeah. I never worry about the things that I cannot solve. I let other people to solve it. If nobody can solve it, just let it be. That's my life. Computer is a computer. Computer is just a toy. Man cannot even make a mosquito. So we should have a confidence. Computer only have chips. Man have the heart. It's the heart where the wisdom comes from. That's my view. And don't worry about it. We will change it. Yeah. Let's go. So I never in my life, and especially last two years when people talk about AI, say a uh, human, human being will be controlled by machines, I never think about it. I think it's, 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 it's impossible, <laughs> right? It's impossible because human beings, they are different. Machines are invented by human beings and according to the science right humans can never create another animal that is smart than humans especially when you have so many smart people it's impossible to make another smart people i, I very much disagree with that okay yeah that's good okay um, yeah my view is that um, computer may be clever but human beings are much smarter yeah, definitely not. Clever is very academic, is knowledge driven. Smarter is experience driven. It's stupid to compete with a computer on play Go. Just like a hundred years ago, where human beings created cars. So human beings said, I can run faster than a car. It's impossible. It's only stupid people to compete with a car who run faster. So I told those guys, they are very sad. So, ah, computer will be smarter than human beings because computer can play chess better. Ah, I think you are stupid to compete with that. Don't do that. In the future, if you want to survive in this world, you have to be the LQ, the Q of love. That's important too. Otherwise, you cannot survive in artificial intelligence time. Well, I agree with you. love is the answer. Uh, yeah. Many songs about that. It's great human being make mistakes. It's great human being learn from mistakes. It's great to die. <laughs>